Imagine a boardwalk that connects the barrier island to Jersey's mainland, or oyster beds used to prevent flooding. These are just a couple ideas from Rebuild by Design, an international design competition launched by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. I'm convinced the unfortunate events of Sandy have created the opportunity to create better places, the way the unfortunate events of 9-11 refocused the way we thought about security. Nearly 150 design teams from around the world entered the competition. Ten teams were selected. All the projects involve building a more resilient metropolitan area post-Superstorm Sandy. It's very clear that we need to address rising sea levels and that the storms that happen aren't once in 100 years. They're happening much more frequently. Sandy's floodwaters inundated Hoboken. This design team wants to develop new parklands in the urban community. The idea here is that uh, parkland and other natural surfaces could act as sponges to absorb the water, to capture the water, and to filter it before it actually flows right back into the rivers. This project focuses on how the wetlands in both the Meadowlands and Long Island can capture stormwater and anticipate major sea level rise. The Meadowlands in large part historically has served as an opportunity not only for economic development recently, but over the long term has also served to actually be a natural resource area. Imagine a man-made barrier island offshore along the entire Jersey coast meant to provide a breaking point for wave action or using the natural environment to combat the effects of storm surge. So it could be everything from growing oyster beds to creating um, sea plants to uh, submerging structures that could capture uh, the waves before they actually make it to the, the land. This is called the Big U, a flood protection system wrapped around Manhattan, which relies on the natural environment like dunes and plant life and man-made construction like these steps to absorb the storm surge and prevent erosion. And imagine another major storm happening, Sandy, Irene, or otherwise. As sea levels start to rise, this area could actually capture the surge before it comes and break it before it actually comes to the downtown. The competition itself is funded by the Rockefeller Foundation and other nonprofits. Over the next few months, design teams will work with community leaders on their proposals. Their final ideas will be submitted to HUD in March. If chosen, the projects may be eligible for funding through the Sandy Aid Package. I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.